Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ashley, also known as Ashra Plays over on my socials. And we are back with another episode for my Discover Uni Let's Play series. And today is the last day of the twins' first term. And I can't believe we're already done with the first term. <laughs> I felt like it went by so quickly, but I'm currently having the twins do their homework before they take their first exam for today at 8. But before we get into this episode, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm hosting a Growing Together Expansion Pack giveaway for my YouTube channel. I'll have the details for the giveaway linked in the description below. The giveaway ends on April 9th and please be sure to read the rules before entering the giveaway. And since this is the first time I'm playing with the twins since the infant update, we have milestones now, you guys. So I'm going to go over the milestones. Um, oh, <laughs> it looks like Cameron and Camille developed a preference about having kids and Cameron doesn't want to have kids right now, which makes sense. I mean, they are in college. All right, let's look at these milestones. So it looks like he has a milestone for first promotion and I'm not really sure from what job? I'm thinking this is from his computer club in high school. And then he has a first woohoo milestone. He also has an adopted pet milestone for Mia and Mochi. And then he has a fell in love milestone with Chastity. Of course he does. He also has a best friend milestone with Liam, Matthew, and Chastity. And then he has a started a romantic relationship milestone with Chastity. And he has a want to become friends with Maureen. But if you don't recall, they did not have like the best first impression with each other so this is Teague because from what I remember they did not get along and then for Camille oh my gosh so she has a worn away manicure which means her nails are gone so I'll need her to paint her nails after her finals though after her finals and then it looks like she's neutral about having kids right now and then let's check her milestones so she also has a first promotion and first woohoo milestone she also has adopted pet milestone and then she only has two social milestones for making best friends the first is sydney and then of course her best friend tasha so at 6 47 a class doesn't start for another two hours. I'm gonna check their needs. Their needs are pretty good. She's just finishing up on her homework, but Cameron's done. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Cameron's going through it. And uh, yeah, Chastity's still in the bed. I'm gonna have him. Y'all, why is Matthew in our house? Oh. <laughs> and why is he dancing? Oh my. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot make this up. I really cannot make this up. Why is he here? Is this door not locked? It is. I guess he has access. All right. <laughs> Let me put this in Cameron's inventory. Does he still have weed from last night? He does. <laughs> he does. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I don't know why um, Matthew's here. I really don't know why he's here, but I'm gonna have Cameron clean up a bit and then we'll have him grab some cereal. Like Matthew, hun. Anthony, why are you still- Y'all. <laughs> we just started this episode. Like, what's going on? Anthony, please change. Oh no. Okay, looks like Cameron's um, uncomfortable because of his final exam. Cameron, it's gonna be okay. Let me check on Camille. Oh, where'd Camille go? Camille, girl. Oh. Meanwhile, Camille's feeling inspired. She started painting. Good for her. I mean, her needs are pretty good, so I'll let her do that. Oh, but she needs to um, she needs to change for class. Okay, actually, let's do that first. And then I'm gonna have Cameron change when he gets done with his um first exam. We're having him take a nap. Chastity is still in the bed, y'all. <laughs> Homegirl is still in the bed. Hey, we're not gonna go to campus today. We just have too much going on. We're just gonna have them um head to class. Okay, Camille's off. Oh, y'all, it's Romeo. Oh my, y'all, I'm gonna have to change Anthony's <laughs> outfit. Oh, now I'm feeling very flirt. Chastity, there's no way you came outside in this outfit. What is going on? What is going on? Not her following Romeo, y'all, in her lingerie. Girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, it looks like Matthew left. Oh, no, Matthew's still here, y'all. <laughs> he is still here. I guess we can watch Matthew until the twins get back. 
Should we have Matthew talk to Seven? Cause she's over here. Let's do it. Let's just have him. <laughs> Let's just have him talk to Seven. Let's just ask about her day. I'm just gonna see what they do autonomously. I'm not gonna really control the conversation. Buna, 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 buna. Essenoy Florid. Venosa Galarga. Learn a Pfeiffin Schooner. Wait, y'all. Oh no! I thought. <laughs> I thought they would have gotten along really well. Y'all, they have bad compatibility, and Matthew finds her very unattractive. Dang, I was really rooting for Seven and Matthew. But we always have Jordan, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, looks like Camille turned in her homework confidently, and so did Cameron. So I forgot to talk about what's on the agenda today. So first and foremost, we need to tackle the twins' final exams as well as their presentations all before the end of the school day, which I think ends around like five, six-ish. But once they get done with their final exams, they're gonna celebrate the end of the first term by going to the pumpkin patch. And we're gonna have a bunch of Cameron and Camille's friends come along as well. We're gonna have Cameron take a nap before his second exam. As for Camille, oh my gosh, Camille, girl. Damp clothing, all right. Oh, y'all look at Joy taking her nap. She's so cute. I'm gonna have her cook breakfast. And we're just gonna make scrambled eggs with bacon. And as for Anthony, <laughs> Let me change this man's outfit. All right, so I changed Anthony's outfit, but I decided that I kind of want him to stay blonde. Like I had to change his hair to blonde for his Tyler the Creator costume, but I'm kind of feeling the blonde on him. <laughs> like it looks so good on him. So I think we're gonna keep it for now. Did she come in here to cook? She did. Looks like Matthew and Seven are still talking. Oh. <laughs> Where is she going? Oh, she's going to her place. Girl. Oh, I think Matthew's leaving. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Matthew, hun, do you not have class today? <laughs> it looks like Harvest Fest is tomorrow. I think he's coming back in here to talk to Seven. No, he came in here to watch a movie. All right. <laughs> she's really sad about the wet clothing, y'all. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. All right, Matthew. I don't, <laughs> I mean, Seven, hun. What is with y'all leaving the house in y'all's towels? Something sounds broken. I, I hear something broke. Oh my gosh. Where's Anthony? Oh dang, Anthony. <laughs> y'all, why is Anthony wearing this damn wig? <laughs> I am so tired of Anthony, y'all. I really am. <laughs> I really am. Anthony, please come in here and repair this toilet. He really said he's getting his money's worth, y'all. That's what he really said. I don't call her. Hi, my name is Jerry from the refunds department. You may be entitled to a cash settlement. All I need from you today is your bank account number. Do I look like Boo Boo the Fool? No. <laughs> We actually have scam callers in The Sims. Like that is so crazy. Okay, let me check on Cameron. Okay, yeah, that's that's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna have Cameron work on his presentation. And then once he gets done with his second class, we're gonna have him give his presentation. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I don't think Camille's gonna have time to give her presentation, y'all, after her class. Cause I wanna say you need to get the presentation before five. Let's have her work on her presentation too. And I think around one-ish, we'll have her give her presentation. Oh, Camille's term presentation looks great. Perfect. All right, let's have her go give that um, final presentation. Final exams in The Sims is low-key stressful. It's actually low-key stressful. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling flirty. Is he done too? Cameron's term presentation looks great. Perfect, right before his class. Okay, let's have him put this in his inventory. Oh, uh, let's have him throw that away. <laughs> y'all, look at Anthony taking another nap. Okay, looks like Camille's done, y'all. If the twins don't get all A's this semester, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, we've been on top of it. Like, all of her homework's completed. All that there's left to do is for her to take her final exam for her second class. Well, I'll have her paint a little bit just to kind of relax before her final exam. I don't want her stressing over her final exam at all. 
Cameron put in enough work to get a decent grade out of that class. Though he saw some other students seeming to learn more proactively. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Let me just have him go ahead and do his presentation so he can be done for this term. Well, since the twins are gone, let's let's control Anthony. <laughs> let's have him talk to Seven. <laughs> oh, I'm so messy. Okay, let's do small talk again. Let's just get to know. Oh, he has a sentiment with Cameron. Uh, not baked buddies. I am so weak. Oh, Anthony finds Cameron adoring y'all. That is so, they are so cute. They are so adorable. <gasps> Wait, does he have back compatibility with 7-2? He does. What is up with y'all not having good compatibility with 7? Like, I don't get it. Not having a sense of Natasha. <gasps> Hold on. Let me find out. Anthony likes Tasha. Not him having beef with Darling. I'm like being so nosy. Oh, he's going to go take a nap, I think. Actually, let's just have him go to bed until um, later on tonight when he go to the pumpkin patch. Oh, Cameron's back. What is he doing? Having a quick meal? Okay, actually, let me have you use the restroom. I, oh yeah, the twins are done for the day. They're done. They've given their presentations and they've taken their final exams. So now we just need to wait to see what their grades are, y'all. They better have all A's. Like, this doesn't make no sense if they don't. Okay, we're gonna have him use the restroom and then mop in here. We need to clean up in here. Like, it is it is so messy. And then as for Camille, I was gonna have her quote unquote get her hair done. I want a new hairstyle for um, Camille before she goes to the pumpkin patch tonight, but unfortunately, we don't have hair salons in the game. So we're just gonna magically have her hair done for the pumpkin patch. I'm thinking we're getting her braids. Like, there's this new hairstyle by Gigi Simmer that I've been dying to try on Camille. But we're gonna have her sleep until the pumpkin patch. And I'm thinking about heading there around six. Okay, let's have Cameron cook something. Let's have him cook a grilled cheese. Mm. Oh, um, I mentioned this in my Sims Self Let's Play series in, in my community tab over on YouTube, but if you do not know, I am no longer doing one hour long episodes. From here on out, I'm going to be doing 20 to 30 minute episodes. I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the episode. I apologize for that. But with that being said, we're only going to have time to go to the pumpkin patch for today's video. I know last episode I said that we were going to be celebrating Harvest Fest with their dad this episode, but we're actually going to hold off on that until next episode, until tomorrow. I love when Sims eat like that. How? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate myself. Is he tired again? He is. Oh, they're supposed to go to the pumpkin patch in like five minutes. Camera, I'm gonna need you to get up. <laughs> I need to have them get ready for the pumpkin patch. Not everyone taking naps. Final exams really worn everybody out. That's so cute. Oh, let me have everybody get ready for the pumpkin patch. <gasps> I know you're lying. I know you're lying. Why does Camille have a C? I'm not gonna be too upset about it because her GPA is still A, but like, I don't get it. And then the same thing for Cam. Oh my God, y'all. I'm low key not gonna have them do electives next semester. That's what it's giving because why are they not doing well in their elective class? Like that doesn't make sense. Okay, would you like to sign up for another term? Yes. Okay, you guys, so we are registering for their second class. And again, we're doing three classes and we'll do an elective. I like doing electives because that allows them to gain a skill in something outside the degree. Oh, let's do fitness and shredded proteins for her since so she is into fitness. So it looks like the two classes Camille is gonna be taking next semester is Silly Strings and there's an aperture for that. And then her elective is fitness and shredded proteins. 
they are going to continue living in these townhomes. I do eventually want them to live in our own apartments in the future, but for now, we're just going to keep them in the townhomes. Okay, it looks like her classes cost 1700 simoleons a semester, and I was supposed to have her apply for scholarships, and I completely forgot to do that. So we definitely need to add that to the to-do list before I forget next semester. Pay with household funds? No, baby, you're going to have to get student loans. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the interest is not that bad, though. It's not that bad. Okay, let's do the same for Cameron. For his two classes, he's taking music and expression, audio editing and composting, and then for his elective, oh, guitar, let's do guitar, since he does randomly own a guitar now, y'all. I don't know where he got the guitar from last episode, but I, I guess we'll put it to use. Um, We'll have him take that guitar elective. And so it looks like his classes cost 1,200 and we're paying with student loans. Okay, well, Cameron and Camille are officially done with their first term of uni. It really flew by, y'all. Like, I really feel like it flew by so fast. But now it's time to head over to the pumpkin patch, and I'll show you guys who's all invited once we get there. We made it to the pumpkin patch, and this is the Halloween Boba Carnival by Jamie Sanford, and I've been dying to use it. And so I put this slot in the center of Brychester Square. So it kind of feels a little bit out of place, but I think I wanna use this slot as sort of like a festival event. So based on the seasons, this slot will change, and there'll be different events going on here, such as Winterfest and Springfest. And as I mentioned before, the twins did bring some of their friends, so I'm gonna show you guys who was all invited. Of course, we have Chastity. And then the twins invited their roommates. And so we have Seven, Anthony, Joy, and Maureen. And you already know we invited baby Matthew, but Matthew invited someone else along with him. And so you guys already met Jordan last episode, but Matthew brought Jordan along. And this time she does have her vitiligo and she is so gorgeous. They are both on the Bot Savant Club at Foxbury. So that's how they know each other. And then Camille actually invited another person as well. She invited Kennedy and I did this because I wanted Camille to branch out and meet new friends while at uni. And I was so tired of her constantly inviting Tasha and Holly. Kennedy, it has to be one of the prettiest Sims I've ever seen. Like y'all made some gorgeous ass Sims for this Let's Play series. And y'all, I'm so nosy. <laughs> I'm gonna control Matthew for a bit and have him interact with Jordan. Okay, let's talk about fantasies. Hold on, <laughs> you got too much dip on your chip. Oh, express nervousness around new Sims. That is so <laughs> cute. Talk about sunny weather. <laughs> let's just do that. <laughs> Merkel Zira, gotta. Okay, we're gonna check his sim profile, but yeah, I already said this, so I'm extremely attractive. <laughs> I said his attractive traits to Seven and Jordan. I don't know why he finds Seven unattractive, but he finds Jordan extremely attractive, but period. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop controlling Matthew and we'll just leave them alone. We'll, we'll see how they interact <laughs> while at the pumpkin patch. And then as for Camille, we're gonna have her harvest some crops so that her and Kennedy can carve pumpkins together. We're gonna grab these two pumpkins here. Carve pumpkin. Let's just do a classic one. And we're gonna do a classic orange pumpkin. And then we're gonna control Kennedy and do the same for her. And we'll have her do a cat one. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're talking. <laughs> Cameron doing. Oh, he's kissing Chastity. Oh, the romance skill. Okay. Um, I mentioned this mod in my Mimi and Windenberg Let's Play series, but I did add the Road to Romance mod by Lumpino into my game. So this mod is basically self-explanatory. It adds the romance skill in the game. And as your Sims gain a higher romance skill, they'll unlock new romantic interactions with their partners. Like I cheated this in Mimi and Windenberg and I low-key still want to cheat it for Chastity and Cameron because they're one, they're romantic Sims. Like they, they've got the skill. <laughs> Like, I don't want to keep it at level one for them. I definitely want to keep it at level one for Camille because she's not that experienced. But I think we'll cheat Cameron's romance skill to like level three-ish. Just for now. 
Let me check his needs. Okay, his needs are pretty good. We'll have them ride the... Um... <laughs> we are not doing that. I'm gonna have him ride the Ferris wheel with Chastity. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not know you could woohoo in the Ferris wheel. You're in a Varu. Uh huh. Rangaria. The Bay. Yeah. Huh? Y'all, it is so dark, and I apologize for that. I'm using the Sunblind mod by Softer Haze, and it is such a nice mod, don't get me wrong, but it just makes the world so dark. So it looks like Camille and Kennedy are still working on their pumpkins, and Jordan and Seven joined them as well. Dang, it's just really dark, y'all. The lights are gonna turn on soon, so just bear with it for now. Ozzy, spab him! Oh, Joy's over yeah. here. Yo, Matthew and Jordan are talking again. They're talking again. Hold on, let me control him. Oh! <laughs> Not Matthew sobering up. Karenzi. La. The Yamba. Gown. And the new Craney. Naya Floof. Dromus. Wavu, okay. I'm gonna stop controlling him for now. Uh. Not gonna autonomously talk into Chastity, yo. Oh my gosh. And she's nowhere near done with this pumpkin. I didn't realize this took so long. I think I'm gonna have Cameron and Matthew ride um, the spooky ride together. Maybe Why is Camille so tense? Oh. Oh, hold on, y'all. She got a tense buff from languishing skills from being an overachiever. We don't have that trait anymore. Why does she? I'm. Oh my gosh, y'all. I should have never, ever, ever gave Camille that trait. Like it is so annoying. Okay, y'all. The lights turned on. What is she doing? A uh, complaint about Professor. Yeah, she's definitely complaining about that gardening class. <laughs> Cause why did that Professor give her a C? <laughs> Looks like Cameron and Matthew are riding a ride. Looks like everyone came over here. Oh. Fight or flight? Cameron didn't want to admit it, but he's a little nervous as he sits down the minecart. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? Each little sound and movement has some jumping out of his seats. When something suddenly jumps out right next to Matthew, adrenaline and instinct kick in. Fight or flight? We're fighting. Yeah. We're fighting. Sorry. With a scream. Oh my god. <laughs> Cameron throws one heck of a punch towards the general direction of whatever is lurking in the dark. Matthew ducks out of the way at the perfect time. Cameron lands a nice jab straight into the face of someone that has snuck into the ride to scare unsuspecting riders. They prankster groans and retreats. Cameron spends the rest of the ride laughing, <laughs> nursing a sore hand and basking in the pride of protecting his fellow rider. Period. <laughs> that is so funny to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like Kennedy finished her pumpkin. We're gonna, um, we're keeping it. <laughs> we're stealing it. We're gonna put it in front of, um, Camille in Cameron's townhouse. And it looks like she's still Could talking to Chastity. She better not honestly flirt with Chastity, y'all. Like, that would be so trifling. That would be peak trifling-ness right there. Okay, hold on. I like that she's talking to her, but at the same time, I need her to finish this. Like, <laughs> we've been working on this all night. Is Cameron done? Okay, looks like he's still riding the ride with Matthew. Once he gets out, we'll have him, um, oh, we'll have him go in the photo booth with Chastity. We'll do that. Where's Anthony? You know what? Let's have Anthony talk to Seven some more. I want to see, <laughs> I want to see if there's something going on between them. Let's do a compliment. Let's just give her a heartfelt compliment. Afflin Wadida. Hey, Bruce. What's a boo, Muji PG? Me vo lava. Washa zabris. Baribi downse. Merkel zira? Huh. You know what? What if we get them to ride the Ferris wheel together? Oh, I didn't notice that he had a good compatibility with Joy. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to push this relationship. <laughs> I'm gonna push it as hard as I can. Alright. Oh, 
It looks like Cameron's gonna toss we talk to Chastity. Bar Safay for open. Demino. Bar. Yeah. Uh, okay. And since we have her, let's um We're not doing that, y'all. We are not woohooing with Chastity in the damn photo booth. Let's take a photo with Chastity. <laughs> Y'all, look at Kennedy and Matthew. Look at them doing their homework. The semester just ended. <laughs> they are so cute. Camille's getting hungry, so we're gonna grab some food for her, and I'm thinking we get... Let's get a pretzel for her. Hot daydreaming? I know you're lying. She's daydreaming about Haley. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, how sweet. Cameron really appreciated receiving such kind attention from Chastity just now. That affection made him feel extra special. Does this mean Cameron particularly likes affection? Yes, he does. Kimba. Of course he does. Manish. Excuse you? Yibs. Gorsh Y'all be so rude, like, so unnecessarily rude. <laughs> but like I was saying before, like, I don't know why she's daydreaming about Haley even when she straight up rejected her, but okay. Check on Anthony. Oh, I think he's done with the Ferris wheel with seven. Dang, I, I completely missed that entire interaction. Looks like he's about to browse the clothes over here. I'll let him do that. We're gonna stop controlling him. And we're gonna check on Cameron and Chastity since they're still flirting oh he's exhausted it is 11 o'clock at night we might we might call it a night y'all oh, i think she's gonna go over here and sit with matthew y'all oh never mind i thought she was gonna sit with matthew but i will have her talk to him because i don't think they talked at all today let's discuss dance techniques with matthew <laughs> did everyone leave i haven't seen like joy in them in a while i think they left y'all i mean it is 11 o'clock at night the only people that are still here is Anthony and Matthew. Uh, you not be uh, still lame. Uh, 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 Suna. <laughs> oh, oh yo, no. they have a full relationship bar. Think about family member. What's he thinking about? Oh, he's thinking about his mom, y'all. <laughs> that is so cute. Uh, 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 it is almost one o'clock in the morning <laughs> so i think we're gonna call it a night <laughs> but anthony anthony you need to leave that dope alone okay so it looks like cameron gained a sentiment with matthew you're so fun to be around i really enjoy spending time with you but yeah i think i think we're gonna call it a night y'all i don't know why anthony's over here in the corner vaping <laughs> oh this is so cute hold on i'm getting pictures they are so adorable okay i'm gonna get some of matthew and camille oh yo matthew's not feeling well okay it's 1 30. is he smoking is Anthony smoking, y'all? Yep. Oh, We're going home. <laughs> We're going home. I'm so tired of him. Oh, wait, you guys. I didn't read these buffs that Cameron got, but it looks like he has a flirty buff from Tinder Mugshot. The kind of photos that might not be appropriate to show off to the family. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. <laughs> looks like he has dreamy eyes for chastity, and then he has a happy buff from Matthew. From gaining that sentiment, he's exhausted, and then um, he has an inspired buff from dedicated follower of fashion. Okay, let's check on Camille. Oh yeah, she has that happy buff from Haley, y'all. All right, and then she has a happy buff from the pretzel she ate earlier. She's also tired, so we're gonna call it a night. I think the pumpkin patch went really well. She got to bond with Kennedy, and they got to carve a pumpkin together. So now I'm gonna head back to their home and end the episode off there. We're gonna fill their needs up first before they head to bed. Can only see his restroom and take a shower first. And then for Cameron. Oh my gosh, he's about to pass out. I, I think he's just gonna head straight to bed. <laughs> We're worried about his needs in the morning. 
All right, Cameron's in the bed. And Camille is heading to bed now, too. All right, you guys, so I think this is the perfect place to wrap up on this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the little pumpkin patch outing with their friends. And as I said before, we will be celebrating Harvest Fest in Oasis Springs next episode. So please stay tuned for that. And I also want to give another reminder that I am hosting a giveaway for the Growing Together expansion pack. The details for that giveaway is in the description below. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I very much appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of my Discover University Let's Play series. And I'll see you guys in my next video.